Have you ever passed those cemeteries and wondering where they originated and why they're here? Well, stick around and we're going to go over that when we take a little tour inside of Rhonda Cemetery in Wilbarger County near Electra, Texas. Stick around. Yeah, let's see if we can get in here. If you come out here, watch the weeds. And make sure the time of the year you're out here. It's cooling off a little bit, so hopefully we don't have a big issue with snakes. And there's a chain on the gate, but you can open it wide enough to get in. Not a whole lot to see. There's two stories that I have read. One of which is about the town of Rhonda, and according to a guy's neighbor who was in his 80s 26 years ago, back in the 1800s, the whole town came down with smallpox. And they had to quarantine the town off, and they made everybody stay in the town until they all died. Wouldn't that be terrible? Kind of makes coronavirus not sound so bad. Nevertheless, the next story about the cemetery itself and the name of the cemetery as well as the town is from what I've read there was a witch in the town of Rhonda and she died or was killed I'm not sure which and apparently she is buried in this cemetery somewhere but as you can see there's no markers, headstones, but not much of anything. But apparently Rhonda comes out and hangs out around her grave. So that's the story. And I don't know what this says. Rhonda Cemetery by the Western Trail Chapter, Daughters of American Revolution, Trees for Texas Project of the Texas Society of Daughters of American Revolution, October 2012. I guess they planted this tree there. But we're going to walk around and see what there is to see besides a bunch of tall grass. I see some headstones over here. So let's check these out. There's a marker. I don't know if the sandstone's a marker too. Sure can't read that one. I don't know if anything's on the other side of it or not. Oh, yeah, there it is. Infant son of CL. And E.M. Cotton, June 26, 1890, died July 1st, 1890. What, four days old? Five days old? Another marker. Nothing re readable. This one, the headstone completely fell. Frank Morris, July 13th, 1856, and died January 31st, 1889. We will meet again. Sarah E., wife of M. M. Gregg, born December 3rd, 1858, died June something of 1884. Well, I don't see a Rhonda. Born in Fulton County, Georgia, January 7th, 1830, died July 6th, 1884. Another hmm, pretty butterfly. Hmm. 
easily distracted at times. It's another marker. Yeah, it looks like 1889. Yeah, the guy that wrote about his neighbor said that a lot of these headstones had the same year death that death year so it would kind of make sense if smallpox did get the whole town pretty much everybody died within close to the same amount of time you can definitely tell that's a grave it's kind of caving in like the hogs has been out here. We saw two hogs coming in over here down the road a bit. Looks like it's uh, seen us better days. The ground's kind of caving in. Nothing's written. Or what's, what was once written is no longer readable and I don't know if we're gonna see anything else over here besides these pretty purple what are the Indian paintbrushes or something and butterflies and a few mosquitoes here and there I hear them buzzing but none of them is really biting me And while we're just walking, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And be sure and like the video and share it with your friends and family. Share it over on Facebook. Help the channel grow. We do quite a bit. Camping, fishing, hiking, and exploring. Buildings, places of interest, and obviously old cemeteries. But one of my viewers had mentioned this cemetery and I had never heard of it. So we thought we'd come out here and give it a check. Have a little look-see. Not a whole lot to look at though. It's all overgrown. I kind of hate to mow it though if I was him. I mean, unless you could mow around all these flowers, which I'm sure a lot of people consider them weeds. But I say one, two, three, four, five, six monarch butterflies and one yellow jacket. Yeah. Alrighty. I did see another cemetery down the road. If y'all want to stick around, and we'll go down there and check that out. I'm not real sure, but I think it said Beaver Creek Cemetery. There's a yellow butterfly. Anyhow, we'll go down there and check it out. Nope, here's another marker. Just too bad you can't read them. They're so old. Yes, can't read them. Being the ghost hunting and all that, it might be worth coming out here with the little, uh, what they call them, an EV machine or whatever the little things are to detect the spirits or ghost. I don't know much about any of that. But my friend over on a view from the middle knows a lot more about this stuff than I do. 
So y'all be sure to check out his channel if you're into stuff like this. I'll put a link down in the description. Yeah, let's head to the other cemetery.